In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today is Holy Thursday. The Lenten season ends, and the Paschal Triduum begins. At the Mass of the Lord's Supper, we record that Christ instituted the Eucharist and commanded his apostles, his disciples, to celebrate until his return. Modi means commandment, and Modi Thursday, the commandment of the Lord, is familiar to all of us. Love one another as I have loved you. Today, this special time that we need to reach out to one another, the acts of love. Lord, we thank you and praise you this day for giving us your body and blood. Help us to always acknowledge your presence in the Holy Eucharist and also your presence in one another. For the times we have failed, we ask mercy, we ask forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask this Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the institution of the Holy Eucharist, we glorify God by saying Gloria together. Glory to God. the 
banquet of his love. Grant we pray that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Thank you. 
regardless. Here there is nothing to do. Therefore, there is everything to do, replied the saint. And he began immediately to act. What did he do? He rose at two o'clock in the morning and went to pray near the altar in the dark church. He recited the divine office. He made his meditation and he prepared himself for holy mass. After the holy sacrifice, he made his thanksgiving and then he remained at prayer until noon. He would be always kneeling on the floor without any support, with a rosary in his hand and his eyes fixed on the tabernacle. Things continued this way for a short time, but then he had to start changing his timetable, and things reached a point requiring radical changes in his program. The Eucharistic Jesus and the Blessed Virgin Mary, little by little, drew souls to that poor parish until the church did not seem big enough to contain the crowds. And the confessional of the Holy Spirit became filled with endless penitence. The Holy Spirit was obliged to hear confession for 10, 15, and 18 hours a day. How did such transformation ever come about? There had been a poor church, an altar, law unused, an abandoned tabernacle, and an ancient confessional, and a priest of little talent with no means to do anything. It is due to him, to the almighty force of attraction which radiate from every tabernacle. Brothers and sisters, on this Holy Thursday, this Holy Thursday, this Paschal to do, we celebrate the institution of uh, Holy Eucharist, the greatest gift that Jesus gave to each one of us. His body, His blood. By giving His body and blood, He showed up to and commanded us, love one another as I have loved you. Sometimes we doubt why when we receive this communion does not affect us, does not bring much transformation. We have the story of that woman who was bleeding for 12 years. In faith, she said, if I could touch the fringe of his garment, I will be healed with a, with a 12 years ailment. When Jesus recognized, when Jesus understood that power has gone out, he asked, he asked the crowd, who touched me? And Peter, who was always answered for everything, said, Lord, what you are saying now? There is a big crowd, not only touching you, people are pushing and pulling. There is a big traffic jam here. Brothers and sisters, it's true. The people are touching Jesus, nothing happened. The apostles, the disciples, who traveled with him, journeyed with him, ate with him, touching, but nothing happened. But this woman, this woman with faith, when I touched Jesus, instantly she was healed. This is a sacrament of faith. This is the mystery of faith. When we approach Jesus in faith, Great miracles, great wonders take place. So today we thank God for sending Jesus to us. And we, whenever we participate in the Eucharist, we are not spectators. We are part. Of, we are taking the very, uh, very, uh, very action of Jesus. His death, 
his his death and his suffering and resurrection thinkers call this century as the century of despair many people who carry the burden of life having no hope for tomorrow brothers and sisters when this virus spread so radically many people have their own fears fears about their life their jobs their children their families many say that they are fed up with life that this thought arises when nothing new come to their life to revitalize us revitalize them the sacrament of eucharist is meant to strengthen our love bond with jesus so that we can say with saint paul for certain for i am certain of this neither death no life no angels no prince nothing that exists nothing still to come not any power or height or depth nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of god made us visible in jesus christ our lord we thank god we thank jesus for this great gift to us always approach the sacrament with great faith with great reverence when we celebrate this eucharist brothers and sisters we love all the people of the world we all remember all the parishioners of st john's county parishioners all those who used to come and pray here with the charis with the swine and bread and wine we lift up all our prayers all our needs let us thank him and let us know let us know jesus is with us at this time with his abiding presence jesus is walking with us we are not alone We bring all our prayers and petitions today. This day is to be today's special day for the priests because in Jesus Institute and priesthood of this day, Lord, we pray for all our priests. Give them strength and give them faith and generosity to serve your people. And we remember all the all the priests served in Saint Charles Xavier Parish. May they have many blessings. Those who are dying, may they have eternal life. Remember all our families, our friends, especially our brothers and sisters who are struggling with sickness and illness. And with many prayers, many thanksgiving, we lift this chalice and this cup to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, Lord of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this fruit to all. Fruit of the earth, one of human hands, become for us, bread of life. Blessed be God. May the beginning of all the heart of life, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself for our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, Lord of human hands, become for our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with the humble and upright heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Holy
जैक्सन रोम जेनिको बियांडो बस सुपर स्पाई मिगारो को फैमिली और सो बाइक ट्रिन पकोलिन बस सुपर स्पाई मिगारो इस फैमिली
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all these trusts as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other since the sign of peace. Love of God. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Let God take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the love of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those. Lord, we thank you and praise you this day, this 14th Thursday. You established this great sacrament for our good. We thank you and praise you. Help us always to approach this sacrament with love. Lord Jesus, so many of our brothers and sisters cannot receive you at this moment physically. But we to the, be close to them spiritually. So we say that in prayer of spiritual communion, the Mass is being offered for all our parishioners of St. Charles Kali and all our benefactors and for the whole world. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy side. 
sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you this moment, receive you sacramentally, come into at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself completely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, on this morning Thursday, though you cannot, though we cannot unite in prayer and offer this holy sacrifice, I remember all of you and we remember the washing of the feet of the disciples. I thank you for all the services you do. Thank you for the encouraging words that you sent. At this moment, we will be sure that our prayers are with you, all of you, with your family. And may you be blessed, Eucharistic Lord, bring healing, peace and love to all of you, all you and your loved ones. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by this supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his life for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.